people injured here three v three faction war. This is SDL Province and Space Marines versus Eldar for the Blue Space Marine team. Double check your orders is a Tech Marine starts off in ranged combat, puts out some good damage, can also support with structures and repair alongside. Curse Crab with an Apothecary support hero that fights in melee combat by default begins with a heal and a passive health regeneration aura. And round off the team is Catler's Force Commander. Very good offense, fights in melee combat, can also tank, disrupt, and support. We've got the Black Templars, recolored grey. The elite scheme, that is. Red Eldar, APOC, with a Warp Spider Exarch, a teleporting hero that fights in ranged combat. By default, great for capping and harassing with some powerful control abilities. Over on the west side, then the contested VP. Alongside here, AC is a Farseer, support hero that fights in melee combat. Some powerful buffs and control abilities. This is the, uh, is this the Exodites? Yeah, the Exodites Elite Scheme Recolored Red. And rounding off the teams, Mammoth Mark II is a Warlock, a melee spellcaster that can leap into combat. Some powerful destruction and support. Just chucks out some lightning casually on some scouts on the east side. Makes them back away. No leap into combat there. Here comes the Force Commander to battle cry of the Banshees. There we go. Hits a couple of them. Scouts trying to keep their distance, keep the Bolt of Fire going. Now the Banshees are on the Tactical Marines. Shotgun Blast comes in. More Scouts join the fight from Curse Crab and more Marines. Banshees in a bit of trouble, but they're going to be okay. Maybe if Curse Crab kept going there, tried to get into Retreat Path, might have been able to finish them off, maybe. I guess it depends how quickly Mammoth spotted them. Warp Spider Exarch in Retreat Path of the Tech Marine trying to finish them off. Couldn't quite get it done. But as expected, Kind of getting overrun in that very first engagement by the Eldar since they have, you know, more squads up and dangerous power melee too. Especially since the Warp Spider can just teleport in and tie up the Tactical Marines, which really lowers the damage output against the other stuff. Oh, got into a bit of trouble there though, had to teleport away. Barely got out of it. Some power bashing really early. You've got to keep on top of the power when you're fighting Space Marines. Don't want them to tech up freely and quickly. Definitely not. What is this? Contested power turns red. Banshees up for each of the Eldar players. As you can see, these ladies already have the aspect of strength for AC. No mark on Apox though. This could be, yeah, that's a, a dicey approach for those guys. There's Guide thrown up on the Banshees of AC, boosting their damage by 30%. Also the range of their weapons, although Banshees, they want to chop you up with their swords. Look at the Tax Marines got messed up there. Didn't drop a model though. Pretty lucky not to do so, I think. And the scouts came in with their shotguns. Unlucky AC not to kill a tactical marine. Mastercrafted Bolter is up for double check your orders. Tech marine here. High powered shot. Great tool to use against Eldar early on. Big burst of damage to a single model and instant suppression. Stop the Banshees in their tracks. Those tacks are quite low. Are we going to see some ranges? In fact, we do see some ranges from AC. Sniper troops that have some cool support abilities they get in their Pathfinder gear. Allows them to infiltrate others and a bunch of other stuff there as you can see. Fleet of Foot and Kinetic Pulse. That long range knockback, just used it on those Marines there to get them off the cap. Devastators up here for Curse Crab. We got some Assault Marines for Katla. Always have an interesting dynamic with the Banshees. Banshees generally have the upper hand in Tier 1 unless the Assault Marines maybe get a jump on them and then a bunch of support. But in tier two, when you get that merciless strike, especially supported by the Force Commander's battle cries, they can mess up Banshees pretty well. There's the washout and a shotgun blast went in. But they're taking a lot of damage, these are some Marines. Oh, and there's channeling runes from the Warlock. Incredibly powerful heal ability. Does need to stay still and channel it for the duration. You just saw the Force Commander go and knock down the Warlock to stop that happening. Which was a good piece of play. I guess he had Battle Cry available for that. And they power through Assault Marines close to dropping a model. But this is what Space Marines do. Smack their head against you. You lose models, they don't. And they keep on rolling. Now they're on your power. Any sign of... Those guys run away. Any sign of a Flamer? Nope. These fellas might chuck their grenade out. Nope, just a big old retreat there. Those were... Yeah, those were Mammoth's Rangers. In fact, every Elder player now has Rangers. Whoa! Double check your orders. Had a rough time over here while I was looking at the east side. Lost their Marines. 
Did they not? I don't think they had another unit though. Lucky ASM says Mammoth. Those are, that's referring to the assault when he's getting away without a model loss. Happens a lot. They have 400 hit points per model, so it's bound to happen. Yeah, double check your orders. Need some support now. We've got some assault marines on the way. Not sure if they had another unit. I don't think they did. Spent power on the Mastercrafted Bolter, also spent power on those shotguns and the Sergeant. Yeah, I don't think they had another thing. Just having Assault Marines with Scouts could be dicey against the Banshees and stuff. Especially since now the Warp Spider can teleport in and tie up the Tech Marine. Negating all of that range DPS from the Mastercrafted Bolter. 414 to 461. Pew Pew on the Scouts, they don't like it. Got to heal from the Apothecary there, who does have the customised Storm Bolter. Can shut down a single entity pretty well. Such as a hero. Like the Farseer over here. Doesn't have any war gear, the Farseer. Grenades up for everyone, I think, in terms of the Dire Avengers over here. Assault Marines have found these fellas. Who don't have their aspect yet. Got them off the decap. 4-1-4 four, four to triple four. Kicking off right in the centre here. War shout, and then they kind of wander off aimlessly, the B Banshees. That was strange. I hear another war shout. Was it here? It might have been on the uh, western side. So Mammoth drops their Banshees. Some losses on both sides. Are these scouts going to get away? Looks like they are. Devastator is now setting up. It's a good place to set up. Going to catch these Banshees. They need to run away. Uh oh. Has AC forgotten about the Banshees? Notices may be in time, I don't think so, they go down. Heavy losses at the end of tier 1 for the Eldar. Lost both, well lost two of their Banshees, still have one up from Apoc. A turret over here is almost down. Or maybe he just didn't finish it. Oh, he's twitching, I think it, I think it did get finished. Drop Pod saved it. Drop Pod uh, dropping in some tactical Marines. We need one more burst on the turret, buddy. It's got four hit points. Turret is still there. Looks like he's just going to go into melee and smack it once. There we go. Two to one cap for the Space Marine team. Double check your orders. Has recovered on that side. Now has some tactical marines, but they are still in tier one, although so is APOC. Other players don't have to think about their tier two stuff. Speaking of tier two stuff, we have a Thunderhammer. And the teleporter pack is up. Now, how are they going to deal with this guy? It can be tough for Eldar to do. Can't really send Banshees on him because he'll do this. And just send them flying. Dark Creepers do have that pinning fire. You can also try to chain together suppression teams and stuff. Or just, you know, chuck a Wraith Lord at him. Or some other vehicle. A Falcon can shoot him up. Firepower is what you need. Dire Avengers here. Maybe going to get away. It's a lot of ranged firepower. They do not get away. Eldar having a rough time at the start of tier 2 here. Warp Spiders on the field for Mammoth. Decent tool to use against the Force Commander. They do some good DPS and good teleport away from him. As long as he doesn't knock them down first. They can't teleport while they're on the floor. Farseer goes down. Not a lot of pressure on this Apothecary. The scouts got messed up. Not sure what they were trying to do. Chuck a grenade on these guys, maybe shotgun blast them. Kind of strange. Double cap now for the Space Marines. Force Commander is messing up this Eldar. Getting on their way to level 3, this Force Commander. Don't see anything out in tier 2 though. Oh, we have a Plasma Cannon on the way. Falcon now for APOC. Just took some losses on that west side it looks like. Yep, and now they're on the power double check your orders, I think. Gonna get a full bash. Not looking good for the Eldar. Triple cap against them. Power being bashed. Losing units. Look at the map and how blue it is right now. Got the carry level 4. Tactical Marines there with their sergeant. Yep, all three Eldar heroes are down. Farsi is the easiest to get to, I suppose. Well, Warp Spider is also pretty easy to get to. They can all be revived pretty easily. 
Who wants to rebuy and get all that XP? Catler goes tier 3. She is not interested in tier 2 units right now. Another maliciously placed turret. Going to be taken down though from the rear by a bunch of Eldar fire. There we go. And it was fully bashed and decapped. Grenade on retreat path takes out a scout. As a cannon hits the tree. Yeah, that's a sturdy tree. Oh wow, Tempest Launcher Barrage thing from the Dark Creepers. Not something I notice being used all that often. Creeping forward with the Rangers and their Kinetic Pulse, they should be able to break through, maybe set up a flank here on Catalyst stuff. Force Commander's very close to level 3. Bantry's back and away. They should support this little push here from um, AC. More Dark Creepers, and why not? Here comes the Force Commander. Gotta try and split your forces when you know this guy has Teleporter and Thunderhammer. Not always easy to do though. Banshees can't really engage while he's got that battle cry up and he's doing those special attacks. Tactical Marines are close enough to be buffed by it too. Okay, they persuaded him to leave. Can now chop him up in retreat. Not sure why they used their wash out there. Can't suppress him when he's running away. Doesn't do anything else, does it? 404 to 221. Eldar have the west side back. What is this? It's Vanguard veterans fighting howling banshees. They do have their Exarch. She gets that nifty heavy melee spear. You see her there. Because of the aspect of strength. 394 to 221. Power built up a little bit by the space rings on the east side. Catula wants that power. Terminators perhaps. There's that channeling from the Warlock healing up the Banshees again. West side, double check your orders is back here with Stone Guard veterans now. Got a Melter Bomb ready as well. If they spot the Falcon, there it is. Vengeance rounds loaded in by the Stone Guard, which is their anti-vehicle and anti-super heavy infantry ammo. Although the only super heavy infantry Eldar have is the Avatar. Grenade. A nice grenade. Only killed one of them again, a little bit unlucky. There's a shimmer orb up from the Walk Spider Exarch giving full damage immunity to ranged attacks. A great capping tool. Walk Spider teleports in, ties up the Laz Cannon. Mammoth Mark II. Pondering the point to this game and life in general, I think. Can they get onto that VP? Maybe. They've got a webway over here to perhaps steal that power, but here's a power bash over here from Katzler. There's not a lot here to defend it, too. This has also been... Oh, it's actually been capped by the Space Marines. Mark target on the Banshees. Gonna go down if they're not careful. I don't think they're being too careful. Oh, the Assault Marines just stopped attacking them. And a quick kinetic pulse there helps to save them. They get away. 328 to 221, single cap for the Eldar. Unleashing a barrage of Tempest launcher stuff. Holy crap, the Stern God got melted. I imagine Glide was on one of them too. We have the Doombringer and Spirit Stones for the Farsia. Uh oh, here come Assault Terminators. I mean, Doom and Double Dark Reapers is a decent way to start putting a dent into those guys, but the Farsi went down. With the Witchbread of Kurnus, and of course those channeling runes as well. So Katzler's down to just two units now. Vanguard Veterans and Assault Terminators. These guys are unique to the Force Commander. The Force Commander himself is level 4, got level 4 Apothecary, and very nearly level 5 Tech Marine with that Melter Gun now. Signum. And they did get the uh, Falcon at some point. I didn't even notice I was off looking at something else, like a fool. But it went down. I assume it was the Melter Gun and the Melter Bomb. And hey, Predator Tank from Double Check Your Orders. Might get another shot on the Autoc here if you can get close enough. Gonna go for a decap. Oh, that shot missed. Hit the bench. That's a tough bench. Yeah, you don't. I don't think you can do that. Double Dark Creepers running off. Stern Guard taking back that uh, 
So that's not Stone Guard, that's Tactical Marines that were dropped in by Katla, taking back that power. Banshee's in a really bad place. Assault Terminator's on retreat path. Can they escape? That Inspiration on kill, which stacks, of course, with the Battle Cry, just gets scary, scary damage buffs. Late game Space Marines. Banshees are down. 318 to 165. They've found the webway. I mean, it's not looking great for the LW, but when you look at the rosters, they're relatively even here. Mammoth is getting some Dark Creepers. There is another tank on the way, and they don't really have much in the way of anti tank stuff. They do have a Haywire. They do have the Banshees that could perhaps get onto it. And of course, Doom that can compound any anti vehicle stuff to make it even more powerful. We have a cap. Nope. Plasma cannon means no cap. Grenade, though, is there. And got one. Well done. There's the tank from Curse Grab. Farsia pops the guide up on the Dark Creepers. I thought she was going to try and decap there. Dark Creepers really do mess up Tactical Marines, especially when they're buffed like that. Can they get the cap? Farsia is going to go for it. There's that Ethereal Slash from the Warlock. Tech Queen having a little look. Looks like he's going to go towards the mid. Not sure what the Assault Terminators are doing, but they're now joining the fight, kind of. Oh, down goes the Farsia again. And she did not get the cap, I don't think. 251 to 161. Eldar continued to make a game of it. They're right back in this, I think, although they've got a VP deficit to make up. We've got some Fire Dragons here from APOC. Anti vehicle, well, kind of anti everything from a short range. Can certainly help against these tanks. Farsia. Sorry, the Autark going after the Apothecary here. Gets a full auto to the face, though. Banshee's going after the tank with their heavy melee spear. He has a bunch of firepower, though, on them. This tank is showing rear armor to the Fire Dragons. And they have their Exarch. Some good damage output, but there was enough here to persuade them to leave. Pretty sharpish. 220 to 161. What is this? Is it a Force Commander? It is a Force Commander. Almost level 6 now. Knocking down entire armies of stuff. Vanguard veterans getting in there. Ethereal Slash messes up the Force Commander. No decent grenade. Killed one of the Vanguard. Terminator just kind of hanging out. Vanguard have to jump away. They lost two models. Force Commander's going to need to run soon. Which made of Kurnus is a power melee weapon, so does good damage to heroes. He really wants to kill that Ranger. Couldn't quite do it, and now might go down. The Warlock doesn't have a melee charge, but does get the attack in. And a sync kill. Very fancy. 198 to 161. Power bashing with a Predator tank, which means it's really far forward. And this is getting a Bright Lance. Right, Lance is going to do... Uh oh maybe not. Assault Terminator right there. And that guy got murdered pretty hard. Banshee's needs to run. Fire Dragons are on this guy. Where are those Warp Spiders? Are they dead? They're there. I haven't really seen him do much. Assault Marines in amongst a bunch of Dire Avengers. Can they pull off a little grenade here? Maybe a double grenade. As they back away. There's a grenade throws. Not bad. Oh, I didn't actually kill a model. Look at that. Level 3 Assault Marines. Do not care about your grenades very much. 198 to 133 on the VPs. Revived there for the level 7 now. Apothecary has the armor of the Apothecarian. Level 6 Tech Marine 2. Right Lance. Got some shots on the tank. Oh, Orbital on base. This is Ace's stuff. I don't think the Bright Lance is going to survive that. Those guys should be okay, maybe. They're in base. Oh, wow. Maybe not. Wow. Super, super well not okay. I thought with the... Because the base gives you 50% damage resistance when you're near it. So I thought they'd survive. But I guess not. 
Space Queen is now just all over the Eldar stuff. They fought valiantly for like 5 or 10 minutes there, but now just kind of being overrun. They've lost too much stuff. Haven't dealt with the tanks. If the Dark Creepers came up like a minute earlier, because they've done pretty well since they hit the field, and they've lost their heroes way too much as well. Bortok dropped in. This is Apox. But there's the advanced healing for those tactical marines there. Triple cap now for the space marines. This is probably it. No way they can get back to two VPs, I don't think. Tempest Barrage. Didn't really do much. Oh, there's the remains of the Falcon. I found it. Land Raider up for double check your orders. He's letting his teammates know so that they can set it as their retreat point. Using the wrong rounds to shoot generators, guys. They're using their Hellfire. Guess it doesn't matter at this point. Just 24 VPs remaining. They got onto one VP, but I don't know if they could get their natural back. Land Raider's doing something weird. What's he up to? Oh, plasma cannon shot on those Dark Creepers there. What a shot. Threaded the needle. Now it's a single cap, because look at this. Walk Spiders doing some Walk Spidery stuff. But it wasn't enough. A single cap will do it. And the Space Marines take it. Level 7 Tech Queen at the end. Had his axe out. Ready to axe them a question. Signum Armor and Refractor Field. We had a level 8 Apothecary. Did he go down, this guy? We need to put more pressure on those Apothecaries, guys, in 3v3s. Because they can, they can carry their team, basically. Level 6 Force Commander did a lot of hammering. Level 3 Warp Spider at the end. Looks like he died trying to decap this wreck point. Level 2 Farseer. Could have done a lot of the Doombringer. She went down a bit too often, I think. And a level 4 Warlock with the Witchblade of Kernus. Thank you for watching, guys. Big thanks to these players for taking part. And, of course, Impregnable, the man with the plan for hosting such events. I'll see you in the next one.